And tonight's main event in this corner, standing six foot two, 196 pounds, Ricky Aguayo. And in the opposite corner, height and weight unknown, Frat Santa. Ding, ding. Hey everybody, welcome to Air Max Reacts. Today we're gonna to be talking about Ricky Aguayo and his frat fight. All right, Nick, so a little background about this. this the fight happened uh, December 2nd of last year. This was following uh, Florida State, is the schools where this happened. This was following uh, their 31-13 win against the Florida Gators. Uh, so what happened? Ricky Aguayo, who's, uh, young, who is the younger brother of also Florida State kicker Roberto Aguayo. Uh, I'm not sure if he's in the NFL still. Um, what happened was is that on the day of the football game, uh, Aguayo missed a 49-yard field goal, which for college kickers, really NFL kickers, uh, that's it's really impressive. far. So, I mean, like, I don't understand why they're mad at him. And then also he had a 44-yard field goal attempt blocked. Then that's not even his fault. You can't really control that as a no, kicker. No, that's not his fault. Uh, he was replaced in the second half of that game. And the so the whole setup here is that the members of his frat, which is Pi Kappa Phi fraternity, uh, fun fact, that fraternity is no longer at Florida State. It had its ch chapter charter revoked uh, after a pledge died. Um, yeah, that's a pretty hardcore frat to be messing around with. Yeah, it's like it's like Animal House on steroids. So, this, so what we're we looking at is Ricky Aguayo fighting <clears throat> members of his own fraternity last year. TMZ released a video, um, and let's get right into it. All right, right off the bat, Aguayo, you see in the green hat, green long sleeve, squared up, squ squared up well against Frat Santa. He gets his hands up in a good fighting position. Uh, Frat Santa is kind of, kind of doing the lean back, trying to feel it out. Nick, what do you see so far? Uh, a little bit of a sloppy punch, just. Needs to work on that, leaning so much, throwing his head too far forward. Exactly. Le he, he he took one to the head, and boom. You can definitely tell this guy's a kicker. He doesn't look like he should be he should be fighting at all. He's not very aggressive, and he's he's scared. He's timid. He's not like a middle linebacker where he's going in for the kill. He's, like, hitting and trying to run away. I can, tell, like this guy, I can tell this guy's a kicker because he has, he has no idea to, what to do with his hands. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It's like, all right. All right, so let's let this roll. He's on the ground there. Cell phone pops out, and now it's just a full-on brawl. There's eight. Looks how many? There's like seven people in there. All right, pause. He's getting some good shots. Uh, I wanted to take a look at real quick. Uh, the fact that there's probably four shoes on the ground. I don't. <laughs> does Does anybody tie their shoes in this fraternity? Well, no. You, that's how you get creases in them. Everyone knows that you don't tie nice shoes. You'll get creases that way. You just tuck the laces in. That's true. All right, so I'm rolling. Uh, all right. All right, so, all right, pause. So, you see, where, where was this security guard, like, a minute ago? The guy with the security blazoned on his on his uh, sweater there. Uh, where was he at? Where, where, did, where did he come from? <laughs> I don't care how, if you're a security guard or not. If there's seven people brawling, I'm not getting in the middle of it. This guy probably makes minimum wage to be a bouncer at some nightclub. And he just sees yeah, he's like, he's like, no, that that I don't get paid enough for that. I'm just gonna leave that alone for a minute. Yeah, and then he's like, oh, <laughs> all right, and he wobbles in there, and he just sees Frat Sand over there. Um. All right, so our security guard comes in there. All right, he's breaking it up. Uh, Ricky realizes that he's fighting in his socks, so that's very uh very, that's very good of him oh. to put his shoe back on. He lost both shoes. Shirts ripped. Both shoes. Um, being heckled now. Uh, Alright. Yeah. Oh, he's still going to have both his shoes. He has one shoe. No, he's yeah, see, he's, got, he's got one shoe, so that's okay. Um, What's the kicking? So it's, that's that all he needs to protect. Ooh, hot, yeah, that's good analysis there. Uh, that's his kicking foot, so. And now in the shot, we have Ryan Izzo, the tight end of Florida State. He's uh, six foot five, 250 pounds, which is good because you need a little bit of size for backup when you're the kicker trying to fight multiple people. This isn't his first fight in the middle of the street. I just, we can just guarantee that. All right, let's, all right, let's roll. So is, we get Izzo in here. Uh, everybody's kind of standing around. Uh, Ricky, I don't think, has any shoes on. Uh, no. Izzo, it looks like it, he lost the shoe again. 
Uh, all right, Izzo squares. All right, so it's like Izzo versus Frat Santa. Uh, obviously, these guys don't like each other. Squ squaring up. A lot of squaring up here. I like it. I like the form. He pulls his pants up about ten times. I wish there was something you could put on pants to hold them up. That would be a great invention. Uh, all right, so Frat Santa's gray sweatpants. Um, Nick, what do you think the origin of that stain is? I'm hoping it's from the ground and not from him squaring up with the tight end. True. That it, Ryan Izzo is a scary dude. Um, my sweatpants would probably look like that too. That's 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 very fair. All right. Uh, all right, and we're gonna roll. Gosh, this is this is great. I would I would love to be trying to drive through this street, trying to get somewhere with all these all these frat boys out there fighting with no shoes on. All right, and all right, stop right there. So. This is, I want to I want to take a second. So Pi Appify, good job on the decorating. Look, I mean, look at that. They have the the frat house is all decorated up, Christmas lights, it's all lit up. Uh, this gets left out of of this it, whole equation. It is. It's very. It is left out. It's very good. Electric bill is going to be very high. It, it it's very nice. You know, that's the sign of a good decorated house. Like high electric bill, you know, you have enough lights on. You know, just because it's a fraternity doesn't mean. Doesn't mean they can't go all out when it's Christmas time. I respect that. I respect that. And look, they got the the the, the Greek letters all lit up in a different color. Um, this is a nice, quaint little frat house. I really enjoy this. Um, yeah, they seem to go all out with everything, whether it's hazing or decorating. They're really in the Christmas spirit. You got to give them that. All right, so we're gonna ro we'll let it roll. Ooh, Ricky, sucker punch, uh, and uh, Izzo is ooh, yikes, Izzo's murdering somebody. No. Yeah, this, this is where that science comes into play. Yes. Wow. All right, so he is trying to reason. Or the guy on the ground is trying to reason with Izzo, not the and he shoves him. And Ricky wants a little wants a little more. Uh, just his socks. Ooh, got a full melee on the ground. <laughs> Izzo comes in, Ooh. break it up. Yeah, I don't Whoa. know if he's breaking it up as much as he wants to get some more. Yeah. Uh, now he's choking someone. That's that's great. You notice I, I noticed after a lot of these fraternity fights because they're all just completely hammered. It's a lot of hugging. Uh, it's like hey, bring it in. Um. Yeah, that, not a good idea to put your hands on Izzo there. <laughs> not a not a good look. Um. All right. So all in all. Uh, I think Ricky Ricky landed some good shots. You know, he had he had a good form. He had the. There, I don't know oh, if they're going for like the old nineteen early nineteen hundreds boxing. Like the there's a lot of that. I don't know if he had good form, but he looked like a kicker trying to fight. Ryan Izzo is a, is a monster, by the way. If I'm a if I'm an NFL team, I'm looking at this and I'm adding this to his recruitment profile. Uh, it shows you he's a great team player, uh, not afraid to get dirty, uh, has good hands. Well, I mean, if you look at it in the sense of, like, a blocking tight end, he's doing a good job. That's he's true. He's the guy. He should, he Nobody's getting to the – yeah, like, he's not letting anyone get to the quarterback or the kicker, for that in, for that matter. I like, think I mean, if you – but if you if you scroll down and look at the picture, I mean, he's a little high. That might be a face mask. But if he low, gets the hands lower, that's a great block. You just – you know what? It's, put, put this dude in there on passing downs, get him some blocking work. This is yeah. This is your blocking tight end. Yeah. I love it. This, these guys are their blood alcohol level here is higher than their IQ level. I think that's what this all comes down to. 